In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and install a complete mod collection or a mod pack for Ark Survival Evolved. Now, there are many collections that you might find in YouTuber series where it will link you to a workshop collection, and you can also browse for these yourself within Steam. Now, before we install it, I do want to make one little tip easier for you. So when you go into your library on Steam, right click your game and go manage and browse local files. Now, just keep this open up in the background for a second because you're going to be coming back to it in a bit. All right, now going back to Steam, we're going to go to the workshop on the Arc Survival Evolved page. Click the workshop button. Now this will take you to the workshop and then you click this browse button. You'll see over here next to home, browse collections. Collections is what you need to do. Now these will be like sorted by most popular, but you can also sort this by most recent or last updated. Keep it on most popular. I do recommend checking within the like three months, six months, one year kind of mark to see like to find the popular ones within the last three months, which people have like looked at or installed. You can see Syntec is here, Miola, Mr. Miola. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, his season 19 series here for Mega Mod, it is over here. We have Natural Causes as Docs. We have Architect Builder Collection. There's a bunch of different things over here and you can find these and install them to to add to your game i'm actually going to look for a specific one i believe it is six months old here it's a pugnacia one by um, natural causes right over here so this one over here you click you go into any of these that you want and from here you will see a list of mods that you will have to add you can see the ones with the tick i've already subscribed to which means when you do this it will automatically download to your game so you can also click the subscribe to all button here boom this will download all the mods here. You can see here, it will actually go to my downloads thing and it will start downloading all of those mods that are needed. Some of them might be big. Um, I'm just gonna have to navigate back to here because when you click that, it's going to change, so. All right, so that's not entirely all that you need to do. If you're playing on a server that's already been made, you actually, at this point, are done. You, you don't have to do anything else. Now, if you're copying somebody else's specific settings for their game, you're going to have to either scroll down or like use the top here. Normally, there's a description here that might have a game any settings file and game user settings, like stuff that you need to put in your, your game settings to change to how the YouTuber or the content creator is playing the game here. You can see here, here is a game any and a game user settings. We're gonna go into the game any one over here and you'll see here there is all of this now this you actually need to copy now you're going to be copying it into the game any file i did make a video on this recently but i'll quickly cover it again here we're going to go to that folder we opened up where the game was installed right at the beginning when you showed um, the install location for arc you're going to go into the shooter game folder saved config windows no editor and you'll see game any is over here and game user settings are over here. I recommend putting both of these two into a new folder, just calling it backup and then backing them up over here in case something goes wrong and you want your original one back. And if you do, you just drag them out of the backup and put them in this main folder. Now, what we're gonna be doing is opening this up in notepad here. So from here, you're going to select all of this text over here. You'll see there are a few posts in this one in particular. So you wanna copy it up until this point, go in here, make sure this thing's all empty, control A just to delete it all and then paste the new stuff. And then we're gonna go here and you'll see it's pasted like that. Press enter so that you start on a new line and we're gonna copy the next post over here with all of this and we're gonna paste it over there and then enter to bring it to the new line. And then the last one over here, we're going to copy and we're gonna drag it and paste it at the bottom here. Then we're gonna save this game any file and that is good. Now we're gonna go back into this thing here, the folder where we have these installed, the game user settings. We're gonna open up that one this time and edit in Notepad and this time we're gonna be editing this one. So for this sake, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to the game user settings anyone. And from here, we're going to copy, copy this over here. Um, did I pause a different post here? It's a little weird sometimes. You just gotta be careful it doesn't go over. Okay, so this one is just one, copy all of that. Control A here, paste, save, done, close, close. And now you are actually ready to go into the game. And now when you come into the game, you'll see here, it will say installing 10 mods. Now this will be installing, you will have to wait until all of these are done, until they actually load up in your host local right over here. You'll actually see that it will actually add them to the active mods and it will build all the settings according to what you added in the game any and game user settings files. Now this unfortunately also does change your game settings. I actually did notice that it changed a bunch of these different things of here. So make sure you, you check these and change them as you want. Once all the mods are done installing and downloading, you can go ahead and pick, pick the map that you wanna play on. And for this case, it's Valhalla Redux. And then you just click play single player.
Now, after waiting a few minutes for the game to load, because they're so big in terms of the mods, it might take a while and there is no loading screen. So it might seem like your game is frozen, but this actually isn't the case here. So I'm going to just um, make a new character here and we're just going to go boom, 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 load preset. I'm, I'm red. Okay, fantastic. Um, that's actually supposed to be a normal human color. I guess the slider here is just like all wonky colors. Look at that, dude. Wow. Is it that thing? Jeez, dude. That's insane. Anyway, that is how you install a mod pack on Ark Survival Evolved. There's a bunch of weird flying things here, man. This is this is some terrifying stuff. And I'm such a red boy. Oh my god, I just got murdered by a dodo. Yep, good time to end the video. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm never playing this again.